Hey everybody, it's uh, Tristan here, uh, the digital storyteller, and uh, I'm just about to uh, go out and do some droning for my 30-day Just Shoot challenge, and I want to vlog and talk about it a bit. Um, it's about 8.07 or 8.09 uh, in the evening. It's golden hour. I'm up in Shelburne where I live. We have like a lot of windmills around, or wind farms they call them, so I'm, uh, I'm, I'm about to go and drone over there and get some cool shots. So come on with me. So I'm out here a little bit north of my city, my town, Shelburne, Ontario, and I'm in the middle of a farmer's field. Behind me there are some crazy, crazy, crazy cool shots as well as in front of me. I'll show you really quickly. We got a cool field of, I call it the field of dreams, but it's a field of windmills all around. And we got the sun right there. So what I'm looking to do, what I'm actually looking to do is to wait until the sun goes down a little bit more. I might do some tester shots just to kind of get everything the way I like it, exposure wise. And then um, I have a few more batteries that I can use. I have actually three batteries. So the first battery will probably be just my test run and the last two batteries will be once the sun is just going down the horizon or behind the horizon. And that'll give me that sort of gold, reddish, hopefully orangey niceness and goodness. And then from there, just just play around with different exposures and stuff. I really want to experiment because again, this 30 day challenge is all about just getting out and shooting and being creative and staying uh, creative and, and getting out of that, that sort of stagnant nature that a lot of creatives are in. Like we don't create unless we get paid type of thing. So um, this is just me trying to be as creative as possible. So wish me luck. So, so for some reason my drone, my Inspire 1 wasn't allowing me to go further than maybe about 100, 100 meters away. So I'm trying to figure out what is going on. I'll be back. All right, so here's the deal. Um, I just lost basically my sunset because for some reason I'm having trouble with my DJI Go app. Um, it was limiting my uh, max uh, flight distance for some reason. So I wasn't able to capture exactly what I wanted today, um, but I'm gonna try and salvage the rest of the light that's here and finish off my film and uh, do what I can. So see you in a bit. All right, so right now I have the drone right over me and it's in the uh, point of interest um, mode, which basically allows you to set a point of interest and then tell the drone the drone to follow you and follow that. So here it is here. The drone is right over there. It's dipped down a bit. It's turning and it's following me and it's kind of kept this area right here that I'm in as the point of interest, as the center of interest. So I'll be switching back and forth just so you can see how it's turning um, and keeping me as centered or this area as centered as possible to get the shot. And I'm not controlling it right now. I have my, my remote right over here on my, uh, just focusing on here. I have my remote right on here to fly it and it's going ahead and doing it. As you can see, it's pretty dark. And the trans transmission is coming in and out. It's going back to the point of interest. So it's just staying 
in this area here. And um, it's pretty cool. It's a pretty dope um, sort of thing to, to use, tool to use if you're shooting by yourself. It's definitely one of the dopest tools that I would say you can use for any sort of DJI drone. Um, it's awesome. So as you can see behind me, you can hear the noise at least, that the drone is uh, following me. It's going all the way around. It's doing a nice little circle here. You can see it right over there, pointing to it. It's pretty dope to know that you have technology like this that you can use at your disposal. Um, and you see how it's dipping down? It's dipping down, I kind of told it to do that. I don't know how I did it, but <laughs> it's working, it's not crashing. Um, I'm about to land it now so that I can get back home and get out of this mosquito-filled field. Like, oh my God. <sighs> okay, so I'm all done my recording, my filming for today, the third day of the uh, Just Shoot Challenge. And I'm just gonna go home and uh, check out my footage and see uh, what I got. So I'm back in the studio and um, I'm about to check out the footage. Um, I wanted to just see how everything came out. I wasn't really sure because I wasn't getting the best sort of uh, streaming or broadcasting signal from my drone, um, the DJI Inspire 1, but I'm gonna check it out on the computer and see how our 4K 24 frame uh, clips look. The other thing was that I was trying to see why I was limited in the amount of uh, the, uh, the distance I could film. For some reason, I, I could only fly like maybe 100 meters away and it was telling me to change the, the maximum distance. I did change it to like over 500 meters, but for some reason it was still not allowing me to go further than about maybe 100 feet away from me, maybe 100 meters, I think, maybe more 100 meters than 100 feet. So I'm gonna check that out too um, and see what's, what's good, what's going on, all right? Let's go.